Oh, hello. Jack Tewksbury talking. I come about the advertisement in the Bugle. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Hello? 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 Soap, 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 and towel, towel, and water, please. Merrily, 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 wash your dirty knees. <laughs> Hot pants and kicky boots. You wouldn't catch me if that get up. Or even for a million pounds. Oh, now you're tempting me, you naughty little sore spot. Would that be on a Tuesday? <laughs> Hello? This afternoon, the Prime Minister dined on Gravidax, a shank of lamb with potato dough and wines. Followed by a compote of mixed summer berries, washed down with a bottle of Sancerre and three very large rabbits. Now, does that sound like the sort of man that's going to give into terrorism? No, I didn't think so. Thank you. Didn't you see me? Out on the Serengeti, searching for this rogue lion. Huge chap he was. Monster of a beast. Nasty big gnashers. Anyway, got cut off from the hunting party. Course I did. No compass. Noonday sun, old boy. Revolver, yes. Ammo, no. Ten out of ten in the mistakes department. Vultures overhead. Ugly beggars circling round and round. Running great lions. Rawr! Shut myself. Will you would do? Great big beast like that. No, just now, old boy, when I went, wow, didn't you see me? It's time to burn me a bones of time, and you don't hang on the stage of the in your head. Well, it's all right for you to talk, Monsieur Concierge. You wait till you get to my age. It's the little ones. They're the worst. They're always trying to take you on. I had this one terrorize us the other day. He was wearing a Batman outfit. That's how little he was. He had a balloon in his hand and he was trying to get us to blow it up. Ha <laughs> ha says, I'm not falling for that old chestnut. And he goes, oh please, please Uncle Baxter. And I dug my heels in. I stood my ground and I ran off. Right oh no, no, you again. Very strange. Do I think fat people should be press scanned into the RAF? Yes, of course I do. What an extraordinary question. Rex, 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 here boy. Rex, 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 Rex. These stairs seem to go on forever. said the traveller. I recently lost one of my top earners, one of my very best clients, Reggie Duncan, actor, friend and veteran charity worker. And although I'm a busy man, I still took the time to make sure his family was okay. I'm just about to send this letter off to his wife as it goes. Oh, what a lovely gesture. Dear Christine, I know how hard things must be for you and the kids since Reggie's untimely demise. Understandably, you were very distressed at the funeral, but may I say how gorgeous you looked. It would be tactless of me to mention the four grand commission Reggie still owed me. Maybe we can discuss things over a glass of champagne when you're feeling more up to it. Say Paris next weekend? Fond regards, Sid. Bollocks. Four grand's four grand. All windows closed, all cushions hot, all since I've been in a hurry, gone. 
Godwin and I always liked a holiday somewhere with a royal connection. And last year, it was the town of Brighton, do you see? And oh, the royal pavilion looked sublime, glistening in the afternoon sunshine. But I was a little disappointed to have missed the Duchess of Kent's visit. But suddenly, Godwin pinched my arm and pointed. I didn't see it at first. But then a sudden thrill went through my body, and I gave a gasp of delight. It was a corgi, do you see, looking so happy in the window of the taxidermist. <laughs> Suddenly, Cassandra shouted, oh, Wow, look at the size of this helmet. Of course, naturally, I came running over to help, and uh, only to discover that the silly stick had got it completely wrong. It wasn't a helmet at all. It was this. I'm off. Well, thank you very much. And what was the asking price again? Twenty two guineas on fifty hundred hay. Twenty two guineas on fifty hundred hay. I see. Well, tempting. Very tempting. Thank you. Hey, George, you're fine. You're fine. Good job. Cheerio. Oh, he's a wow. Thank you, Thank you. That's it, folks.